Hi, sixth grade. So I wanted to get on here and talk to you about Wednesday, April 15th work that you'll have. I also want to discuss the road not taken by Robert Frost, the stanza two and stanza three. So I want you to look first at your daily review and your superb spelling for Wordy Wednesday. And we have our first column for novelist is the word. Our second column is biologist, and our third column is pianist. Notice that each of the endings are ist, which means one who. So we have novelist. A novelist is one who writes a novel. A biologist, bio means life, so one who studies um, life. And then we have pianist, one who plays the piano. So Think of each word, break them down into the root words, and then add the ending to see if that helps you, and then break it into syllables to see if that also will help you figure out the spelling. And then we have, move my window down here, we have the words audible, audience, and auditory. Number one, the blank listened as the speaker addressed the environmental issues. Remember, one of our ways to figure these out. One of our strategies is to put each word in to see if that fits. So I would say the audible listened as the speaker, the audience listened as the speaker, or the auditory. Number two, fortunately my brother's burp was not blank during the presentation. I bet all of you have had a brother or sister who has burped during a time they shouldn't have. Fortunately my mother's burp was not audible, not audience, or not auditory. Number three, people with blank impairments. So people with audible impairments, audience impairments. Well, if you have an audience impairment, then you must be one of those who hate to be around an audience. People with auditory impairments. So which one fits best? I want to jump over and talk up to you about the road not taken and I found this picture this is not one that I took myself or went to find because first of all we don't have these trees around here you'll usually find these trees in in the northern states and look at the yellow leaves so I thought that first stanza where the road diverged into a yellow wood this might give you a better picture of what I'm talking about I'm going to put it down to 50% so that we can see now the, um, the stanzas. But I hope that helps. So we have two roads we explained yesterday that diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry that I could not travel both. Well, if I look down these roads, boy, I would love to see what's down in the future there of those roads. So I could see how he's a little sorry that he wished he could travel both. And being one traveler, long I stood. So he's, imagine him standing right here saying, mm, I wish I could travel both those roads. And looked down one as far as I could. Have you ever done that before you're taking a walk? You want to see as far as you can so you kind of know what you're getting into. That's what he's doing right there. To where it bent in the undergrowth. So if you look, it's starting to close in to where you can't see much. And Torin's picture had a better undergrowth, I thought. But that's where bushes or trees might grow over the road to where you can't hardly see the road anymore. Let's go to stanza two. Then took the other. So he's looking down one as far as he can. And he's like, huh, well, I'll just take the other road. Then took the other as just as fair. So he's looking at it and he's saying, hmm, as just as fair. Is that a simile or a metaphor? Do you know? I'm not going to tell you. So I want you to see if you can, if you listen to this, that's your bonus question. What is that term right there as just as fair? Now, fair means equal, right? And having perhaps the better claim. So he's looking, hmm, okay, that might have a better claim than this one. We might find more treasures there because it was grassy and wanted wear. Well, do you see that while this isn't grassy, um, Torrens had a better, better one, and I believe um, there was... Um, Josh, Josh Wade had a very good one with, with all grass in it, okay, and it's wanting wear. So it's asking for people to walk on it, wanted wear. Though as for that passing there, had Warren then really about the same. So what he's saying, though as for that the passing there, 
had warned them really about the same. So he's still standing there and he's looking, he's trying to make a decision. And so maybe he thinks, well, if one is more traveled than the other, maybe that's the better road. But he's looking and they're laying equally this lay. We'll see that in stanza three. Then the last line had warned them really about the same. So they've been traveled. It looks like had warned them really about the same, about the same at this time. Okay. Let's go to stanza three. And both that morning equally lay. So they're laying about equally. In leaves, no step had trodden black. So many of you struggled with that word trodden. That's why I wanted to show this picture. Trodden is the past tense, past participle, because en is added to the end. So it's past tense saying tread. Well, to tread means to walk on, okay? So, or to make steps on. So in leaves, no step had trodden black. Do you see that this path has not been worn down to the black dirt? That's what that means. So these leaves have not been stepped on to the point that it's been kind of pushed into the dirt and you have a new path there. Does that make sense? In leaves, no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. So the first one he looked at Okay, he's looking at both roads to where it bent in the undergrowth. He's like, mm, I'm going to keep that for another day. That's what he says. Yet I, yet knowing how way leads on to way. Hmm. Well, if one way, if, if we were to take this way, well, we'll get to the end there. And then we'll say, oh, there's more. So we'll go on. So one way leads to another way, which leads to another way, which means he probably won't be coming back here again. And doesn't that happen with our choices that when we make one choice, it leads to another choice leading to another choice. And we never get back to the original part of making the first choice because that's life. Okay. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. So he's, he's saying, I know that if I take this road, hmm, I won't be able to ever make that decision again of choosing this road. Okay, so those are the second two stanzas, stanza two and stanza three. Remember, a stanza is a paragraph in a poem, and a line is um, the, the phrase in each line, if that makes sense. So, all right, guys, if you have any questions, remember you can get a hold of me. Um, you have your Remind app, and you have email, and we can also get onto Google Meets, all right? You have a wonderful day. I hope this helps you. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, bye.